What up, YouTube? T Movies here. It's Sunday. That means it's time for my box office recap where I talk about the films of this weekend's box office and their results. Alright. Coming in at number fifth spot, the cow. It is Jumanji the Next Level, which put in another 5 million, and the sequel has um, generated 298 uh, uh, million since debuting in December. Holy cow, this movie's been out since uh, December 13th, and it's yeah. it's still in the top five. It's still doing great. Yeah, we're going to... From now until... Uh, we're going to hear um, an announcement about that one. Mark, or four, four. But uh, mark my words about that one. Anyway, uh, coming in, the number of four spot, it is Dulo, which pulled in another, which pulled in uh, 6.6 .6 million in its fourth week of release for a domestic tally of 63 million. Yeah, this movie is a massive flop. It doesn't hurt because the movie is also terrible, but yeah, this isn't doing uh, the film any justice, so, oof. Coming in the number third spot, it is the Oscar nominated film and sure to win film on uh, 1917, which made which made nine million. The uh, Sam Mendes directed World War One epic has brought in a hundred thirty two uh, million. So yeah, that I mean I can see why it's uh, doing well because it is the front runner to win Best Picture. Lots of people want to see why it's uh, the front runner. So. Kudos to it, and 1917, you know what, well, I still don't think it should win Best Picture. It's a good movie, don't get me wrong. I'm still uh, pulling it for once upon a time in Hollywood. But, let's see what, uh, 1917 still hang in there and still becoming a hit, so, that's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, coming in at number two spot, it is Bad Boys for Life. Which... Uh, which made 12 million, uh, and the, uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence film has also made impressive 166 uh, million. So, yeah, I mean, the film was, uh, number one, um, in, like, three weeks, to, three weeks in a row, but obviously it ended up getting out of the, uh, top five, uh, not top five, the, out of the, uh, number one spot, because another film, uh, just got released, and that means, and that hit the number one spot, but, uh, yeah, Bad Boys for Life is really the first big hit of the year. You know, so kudos to uh, Bad Boys for Life. Should make, make it as much as it did. Alright. Now, the number one uh, film of this week is Box Office. It is Birds of Prey. Which, despite reviews and... Like, the movie is great. I, I really love that. I'm probably going to see it again uh, this week. But, uh, anyway, uh, Birds of Prey, despite being number one, it still managed to make 133 million. Yeah, I mean, this is really uh, out of one of the uh, DCU movies that, that got released recent uh, with uh, Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel. Uh, Wonder Woman on. This is the lowest grossing out of the DCU, which I guess I can see why. Lots of people were turned off by the idea. Uh, lots of people did not like the trailers. It's a shame that it didn't do so well, because I, I, I love Birds of Prey. I really found it to be really quite entertaining. It was fun, really funny. Margaret Robbie as Harley Quinn once again was great. So I'm really disappointed that it did not do so well. But hey, Maybe with word of mouth, they'll have Lays coming in the next couple of weeks, so who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it'll have some of the Lays. But uh, this week, we also have uh, Sonic the Hedgehog coming out. Uh, Fancy Island so will still be number one this week. That'll be what I say. But uh, let me leave you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on this week's box office results? Any surprises? Did you see any of the films in this uh, weekend's list? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is T Movie Cycle.